adverbs and conjunctions. Shreya sings beautifully. When did you hear her sing live? I attended her concert yesterday but could not meet her personally. She's a good singer and actor both. Although I'm very busy, I will go to watch her movie tomorrow. Because you are interested, I can give you a list of her best movies. The dialogues between two friends uses different types of adverbs and conjunctions. Shreya sings beautifully. Adverb of manner. When did you hear her sing live? Interrogative adverb. I attended her concert yesterday but could not meet her personally. Coordinating conjunction but. She's a good singer and actor both. Coordinating conjunction and. Although I'm busy, I will go to watch her movie tomorrow. Subordinating conjunction although. Because you are interested, I can give you a list of her best movies. Subordinating conjunction because. Definition Adverbs and conjunctions both are parts of speech. Adverbs modify verbs, adjectives, other adverbs, clauses or complete sentences. Adverbs are of three types. 1. Simple adverbs tell about manner, time, degree, place or number. 2. Interrogative adverbs ask questions using adverbs how, when, why or where. 3. Conjunctive adverbs connect words, phrases, clauses or sentences to each other. Conjunctive adverbs are of four types. 1. Coordinating conjunctions and, but, for, nor, yet, so, or. They connect elements, words, verbs, ideas, clauses, etc. of equal importance in a sentence. Rule. No comma is required if only two words or phrases are connected using and, or, or. The forest is thick and green. Rule. If a series of things are put together in a sentence, place a coordinating conjunction before the last thing and a comma before the coordinating conjunction. We will visit a temple, a monument, a beach, a national park and a museum during our visit to Odisha. The king will hunt a lion, a tiger or an elephant. Rule when coordinating conjunctions are used to connect two independent clauses, place a comma after the first independent clause and before the conjunction. The structure is Independent clause, coordinating conjunction, independent clause. I can go home, but it is raining. Shubham is ill, so he will not play. 2. Subordinating conjunctions Because, although, after, before, unless, whether, until, whenever, wherever, etc. They join a dependent clause with an independent clause. Rule A subordinating conjunction, when placed before a clause, makes it a subordinate or dependent clause. If the sentence begins with a subordinate clause, place a comma after the subordinate clause followed by the independent clause. The structure is Dependent clause, independent clause Unless you eat food, I will not go. Whenever I need, Mary helps me. 3. Correlative conjunctions Either or, neither, nor, not only, but also, just as, so, etc. Rule, they always work in pairs. Either study well or I will get you out of the school. He is neither intelligent 
nor polite. 4. Conjunctive adverbs Therefore, hence, consequently, however, similarly, then, thus, moreover, otherwise, for example, etc. Rule Conjunctive adverbs are used to connect two independent clauses. They show comparison, sequence, cause effect, contrast, or other relationships between ideas. Always place a semicolon before and a comma after a conjunctive adverb. The structure is independent clause, semicolon, conjunctive adverb, comma, independent clause. I am tired, therefore I will sleep now. The manager resigned, consequently, his staff went on strike. Note, both conjunctive adverbs and coordinating conjunctions connect independent clauses, but there is a difference. A conjunctive adverb can change position within the sentence, but a coordinating conjunction cannot. Let's have a look at these sentences using different types of conjunctions. You can store coffee beans in a plastic jar or a glass bottle. Coordinating conjunction or He is tired but he will not rest. Coordinating conjunction but Smitha has not worked in any film nor has she worked in an advertisement. Coordinating conjunction nor Because he ate in excess, he has got a stomachache. Subordinating conjunction because Either buy the groceries or go hungry. Correlative conjunction either or William loves to visit India for its culture. Moreover, he has business interests here. Conjunctive adverb moreover Ramath is short of funds. Hence, he stopped construction of his house. Conjunctive adverb, hence. Position of adverbs Jay usually comes home by this time. I have been waiting for him all day. I carefully selected these books for him. Honestly, you have a good choice. Jay reads the books fast. Therefore, I want him to join a library instead of buying them. But he occasionally gets books from the lending library. In this dialogue between friends, different kinds of adverbs have been used in different places in a sentence. Here are some examples of sentences. Jay usually comes home by this time. Adverb of frequency, mid position. I have been waiting for him all day. Adverb of time, end position. I carefully selected these books for him. Adverb of manner, mid position. Honestly, you have a good choice. Commenting adverb, front position. Jay reads the books fast. Adverb of manner, end position. Therefore, I want him to join a library instead of buying them. Connecting adverb, front position. But he occasionally gets books from the lending library. Adverb of frequency, mid position. Definition Adverbs give information about verbs and also modify the adjectives. They can occupy three positions in a sentence. One, in the beginning or front of a sentence. Luckily, the house was empty when the fire broke out, before the subject. Two, in the middle of a sentence. One, the cat slowly climbed up the tree, between the subject and the main verb. Two, the girls are often chatting with kids between helping verb and the main verb. 3. At the end of a sentence. 
the dog lapped up the milk noisily connecting adverbs then however additionally furthermore etc and commenting adverbs surprisingly honestly thankfully fortunately etc are mostly placed at the beginning or front of a sentence summer is going abroad to study however he will complete his exams in india first thankfully i reached school before the prayer assembly began some adverbs are placed variously adverbs of manner mid or end position adverbs of place mid position or end position adverbs of time front or end position ly adverbs of frequency mid or end position never place an adverb between the main verb and its object ravi drinks mostly milk in the morning this is incorrect sentence the correct sentence is ravi mostly drinks milk in the morning let's have a look at these sentences ajay looked quite upset adverb of degree mid position the peacock danced gracefully adverb of manner end position the player gracefully accepted his defeat adverb of manner mid position riddhi always buys pink dresses adverb of frequency mid position surya almost finished his meals adverb of degree mid position he ran so fast that the child was left behind adverb of place end position fortunately shrikant had money to pay his debts commenting adverb front position here are more examples of adverbs in different positions the plane flew northward in the sky anisha never eats junk food rashmi eagerly opened the envelope my house is under construction otherwise i would have invited my friends i usually visit the nearby dentist obviously we cannot see in the dark you must take your medicines regularly i will buy my groceries tomorrow adverbs of place indefinite frequency and time we can place this vase here or we can place it somewhere in the living room we can also consult some interior decorator nearby i have known one since last 5 years mother says these professionals always charge steeply the one i know seldom overcharges she charges on hourly basis the dialogue between two friends uses adverbs of place indefinite frequency and time we can place this vase here adverb of place or we can place it somewhere in the living room adverb of place we can also consult some interior decorator nearby adverb of place i have known one since last 5 years adverb of time mother says these professionals always charge steeply adverb of indefinite frequency the one i know seldom overcharges adverb of indefinite frequency she charges on hourly basis adverb of time definition adverbs of place adverbs of place convey where the action of a verb was or is carried out they can indicate location direction or distance they are usually placed after the main verb or the clause they modify adverbs of place indicating location relative to the subject here there the kids were making noise there so i call them here adverbs of place also used as prepositions on behind up 
down, over, etc. Adverbs of place when used as a preposition are always followed by a noun. While dancing, she stepped on my foot. On is adverb of place since it is placed after the main verb stepped. I hastily placed the hot soup on the table. On is a preposition here since it is followed by a noun. Adverbs of place ending in where, somewhere, everywhere, anywhere, nowhere, etc. imply a location but do not convey specific direction or location. He had nowhere to go that night. Adverbs of place ending in words, northward, downward, southward, forward, etc. convey movement in a particular direction. The lift moved upward. Adverbs of place conveying distance, nearby, far away, miles apart, closer, overseas, etc. Our house and the hospital are miles apart. Some adverbs of place convey a location and movement both outdoors, indoors, downhill, abroad, sideways. The dog ran outdoors. Adverbs of indefinite frequency. Adverbs of indefinite frequency convey a sense of frequency, but they do not specify how often the action happens. Always, sometimes, usually, very often, rarely, seldom, often, once in a while, occasionally, never, typically, hardly ever, and repeatedly are some common adverbs of indefinite frequency. They mostly take mid place in a sentence. The sentence structure is subject plus adverb of indefinite frequency plus main verb. Mohit always comes home late. When auxiliary verbs has, have, had are used with past participle, the sentence structure is subject plus auxiliary verb plus adverb of indefinite frequency plus main verb. Shiv has never spoken lies. When the verbs has, have, had are used as main verbs, the sentence structure is subject plus adverb of indefinite frequency plus main verb. I seldom have heavy breakfast. Adverbs of time. Adverbs of time tells us exactly when something happened, how often it happened and for what duration. Point of time, when, now, then, tomorrow, yesterday, tonight, today, etc. How often, indefinite frequency, always, sometimes, usually, very often, occasionally, never, constantly, etc. How often, definite frequency, annually, monthly, daily, weekly, hourly, nightly, etc. Relative to time, since, later, early, just, formerly, etc. Duration, how long, all day, for a while, not long ago, since, etc. Have a look at these examples of adverbs of place, indefinite frequency and time. Bring the books here, adverb of place. Moving northward on the globe will lead you to the Arctic Pole, adverb of place, direction. Anya lives far away in the city, adverb of place, distance. The storm tilted the tree sideways. Adverb of place, location and movement. The girls sometimes make too much of noise. Adverb of indefinite frequency. Amit has once in a while cooked breakfast. 
adverb of indefinite frequency. Satish visits his parents weekly, adverb of time. Degree adverbs Very, enough, too, almost, extremely, quiet, etc. You look extremely excited. Yes, the news is too good to be true. When you are calm enough to speak, let me know the news. I just need to take a breath. Looks like you just won a lottery ticket. You almost guessed it right. The amount must be big enough to make you so happy. Yes, it is big enough for someone like me. Spend your money very carefully. Sure, and I almost forgot to tell you that I have just booked tickets for a trip to Singapore for both of us. I am extremely thankful to you for this pleasure trip. Now let us exchange enough currency to last us during the trip. Yes, let's hurry. The conversation between these two friends uses different adverbs of degree. Let us look at them one by one. You look extremely excited. In this sentence, the word extremely is modifying the adjective excited. Yes, the news is too good to be true. Now, in this sentence, too, followed by too plus infinitive. When you are calm enough to speak, let me know the news. In this sentence, enough is modifying the adjective calm. I just need to take a breath. Just is modifying the verb need. Looks like you just won a lottery ticket. Just is modifying the verb won. You almost guessed right. Almost is modifying the verb guessed. The amount must be big enough to make you so happy. Enough modifying adjective big. Yes, it is big enough for someone like me. Enough followed by for someone. Spend your money very carefully. Very modifying adverb carefully. Sure, and I almost forgot. Almost modifying verb forgot. To tell you that I have just booked. Just modifying verb booked. Tickets for a trip to Singapore for both of us. I am extremely thankful to you for this pleasure trip. Extremely modifying adjective thankful. Now, let us exchange enough currency to last us during the trip. Enough modifying verb exchange. Definition Adverbs of degree tell us about the intensity of something. But for a few exceptions, they are placed after an adverb, verb or adjective to make its meaning more intense or stronger. Enough Enough is placed after the adjective, adverb or verb it modifies. The oven is hot enough to start baking. Adjective Hot. Enough. Their income is barely enough to sustain. Adverb. Barely. Enough. They don't talk enough to understand each other. Verb. Talk. Enough. Enough as an adverb of degree is placed before a two plus infinitive. He is old enough to retire from his job. Enough followed by two plus infinitive. Enough as an adverb of degree can be followed by for someone or something. The dress is big enough for the fat girl. Enough followed by for someone. The hall is not big enough for the ceremony. Enough followed by for something. Very Very when placed before an adjective or adverb makes its meaning stronger. He is very sincere. The monkeys plucked the bananas very easily. 2. 
to as an adverb of degree means more than necessary it is placed before an adjective or adverb the exam was too easy for the students too qualifying adjective easy the monkey was too quick to jump to another tree too qualifying adverb quick too as an adverb of degree is also placed before a too plus infinitive the novel is too long to be read by a child adverb of degree too can be followed by for someone or something the shop was too small for a businessman like him quiet quiet when placed before an adjective or an adverb intensifies meaning the movie was quite interesting quiet qualifies adjective interesting the fox grabbed the cow's bread quite cunningly quiet qualifies adverb cunningly extremely extremely when placed in front of an adjective or adverb makes the meaning of that adjective or adverb more intense or powerful it is extremely windy today extremely modifying adjective windy he did bungee jumping extremely easily extremely modifying adverb easily almost almost is placed before an adjective or adverb or verb it is modifying you read a good book this one is almost equally good almost modifying adverb equally this is an almost defunct library these days almost modifying adjective defunct i almost ran to stop him from jumping off the cliff almost modifying verb ran just just is placed before an adjective or verb it is modifying amit just wrote a letter to his friend just modifying verb wrote vibha is just lucky to get the prize just modifying adjective lucky have a look at these sentences using different adverbs of degree she is not competent enough to head the department enough followed by to plus infinitive the ducks paddled very fast in water adverb very modifying the verb fast the wind is getting too cold to bear now to followed by to plus infinitive the design of the tables was too archaic for a modern setting to followed by for something mithun is almost always late to school almost modifies adverb always focus viewpoint and commenting verbs rina just sang a song for us she occasionally sings in her college functions too seriously she should make singing her profession she surely will become a successful professional singer mostly traditional families oppose the idea of girls singing professionally fortunately she learned classical singing when she was a child here are the dialogue between the two friends uses adverbs of focus viewpoint and comment rina just sang a song for us focus adverb she occasionally sings in her college functions too adverb of comment focus adverb seriously she should make singing her profession adverb of viewpoint she surely will become a successful professional singer adverb of comment mostly traditional families oppose the idea of girls singing professionally focus adverb fortunately she learned classical singing when she was a child adverb of viewpoint definition focus adverbs focus adverbs draw attention to a particular part of the sentence and emphasize that it is important relevant focus adverbs can be placed in the beginning 
middle or end of the sentence. Its position can change the meaning of the sentence in different ways. To and as well are exceptions to this rule. They are always placed at the end. Example We ate mangoes in the garden. Only placed in different positions conveys different meanings. Only we ate mangoes in the garden. Only we ate, none else. We only ate mangoes in the garden. We did nothing else but eat mangoes. We ate only mangoes in the garden. We ate no other thing but mangoes. We ate mangoes only in the garden. We ate mangoes at no other place but the garden. Some most common focus adverbs are also, just, even, only, either, neither, mainly, mostly, generally, primarily, particularly, at least, solely, exactly, exclusively, especially, only, simply, purely. Viewpoint adverbs and comment adverbs. Viewpoint adverbs convey a person's opinion or viewpoint about an action, person, situation. Commenting adverbs comment on an action, a situation, a person. The same words may be used for viewpoint as well as commenting adverbs, but their placement distinguishes them. Viewpoint adverbs are placed in the beginning and separated by a comma from the rest of the sentence. Commenting adverbs appear in the middle or end of a sentence. They are mostly placed before the main verb. They need not be separated from the rest of the sentence. Example Seriously, you should learn the language. It's a viewpoint that you should learn the language. You should seriously learn the language. It's a comment that you should seriously learn the language. Some words often used as viewpoint or commenting adverbs are Fortunately, unfortunately, luckily, honestly, frankly, personally, amazingly, sadly, strangely, definitely. Surely, let's have a look at these sentences using focus, viewpoint and commenting adverbs. The monkey just grabbed the bananas. Focus adverb. Frankly, he ruined his chances of winning. Adverb of viewpoint. He amazingly climbed up the mountain effortlessly. Commenting adverb. Personally. He should have sent us an invitation. Adverb of viewpoint. The author mainly talks about food, travel and adventure in the book. Focus adverb. He should have occasionally met the principal. Commenting adverb. Mostly the publishers sold the books at the book fair. Focus adverb. Adverbial clauses of time. Verb tense, before and until, hardly, when, etc. Submit your application form while the teacher is in class. I will submit my form when she comes tomorrow. Do not wait till she returns tomorrow. Why? As soon as she receives your form, she will forward it for approval. I cannot submit it before I have all the details. Until you submit the form, you will not be able to go on leave. Whenever I need leaves, I get into such troubles. So long as the teacher is not annoyed with the delay, you can submit the form. Yes, I will try to keep her in good humor till I get my details. Sure, all the best. The dialogue between the two friends uses various adverbial clauses of time in different tenses. Let's take a look at few sentences. Submit your application form while the teacher is in the class. Main clause 
present tense. Subordinate clause, present tense. I will submit my form when she comes tomorrow. Main clause, future tense. Subordinate clause, present tense. Do not wait till she returns tomorrow. Main clause, future tense. Subordinate clause, present tense. As soon as she receives your form, she will forward it for approval. Main clause, present tense. Subordinate clause, present tense. I cannot submit the form before I have all the details. Main clause, present tense. Subordinate clause, present tense. Until you submit the form, you will not be able to go on leave. Main clause, future tense, subordinate clause, present tense. Whenever I need leaves, I get into such troubles. Main clause, present tense, subordinate clause, present tense. So long as the teacher is not annoyed with the delay, you can submit the form. Main clause, present tense, subordinate clause, present tense. Yes, I will try to keep her in good humor till I get my details. Main clause, future tense. Subordinate clause, present tense. Definition An adverbial clause of time indicates when an action takes place. All adverbial clauses of time are subordinate clauses attached to a main clause. A subordinate adverbial clause begins with when, whenever, while, as, since, after, before, until, as long as, so long as, as soon as, once, no sooner, than, hardly, scarcely, barely, when, etc. The adverbial time clause may be placed before or after the main clause without any change in meaning. Verb tense in adverbial clauses of time. When the main clause is in future tense, the adverb clause of time should be in present tense. When the main clause is in present tense, the adverb clause of time should be in present tense. When the main clause is in past tense, the adverb clause of time should be in past tense. Have a look at these sentences using various adverbial clauses of time in different tenses. The child will play until he feels sleepy. Main clause, future tense, subordinate clause, present tense. Complete your essay before the teacher returns. Main clause, present tense. Subordinate clause, present tense. I will buy you all the books whenever I go to the book market. Main clause, future tense. Subordinate clause, present tense. I will release the balloons as soon as I hear the bells chime. Main clause, future tense, subordinate clause, present tense. Rest here a while till help arrives. Main clause, present tense, subordinate clause, present tense. Here are a few more sentences using various adverbial clauses of time in different tenses. I will buy dresses as long as my money lasts. Make hay while the sun shines. I will stop working after my mother arrives. The children will play till the bell rings. Rajashree will stay here as long as she wishes to. Hardly had I dialed his number when he arrived into the hall. Giving reasons As Because Because of For I could not get a helicopter ride because of rains. This is because you cannot predict weather with certainty in hilly regions. 
I purposely visited the hills at this time as I wanted to get an aerial view of the mountain peaks. Don't be in a hurry to leave because the helicopter services will be resumed when the weather is fine. Because of you, I will not cancel my trip. We will visit the valley as I want you to appreciate its greenery. Let's look at the conversation between the two friends uses as because because of for to for to give different reasons i could not get a helicopter ride because of rains this is because you cannot predict weather with certainty in hilly regions i purposely visited the hills at this time as i wanted to get an aerial view of the mountain peaks don't be in a hurry to leave because the helicopter services will be resumed when the weather is fine because of you i will not cancel my trip we will visit the valley as i want you to appreciate its greenery definition because and because of because and because of both are used to give reasons the only difference is because is a conjunction and it is followed by a subject and a verb we did not go out because the maid subject was working verb because of is a two word preposition followed by a noun or noun phrase we did not go out because of the maid working noun phrase when using because and because of in the beginning of a sentence put a comma after the first clause because the maid was working we did not go out because of the maid working we did not go out as the coordinating conjunction as is used to connect a result with its reason Sara studied all night result as she had an exam the next day reason for the coordinating conjunction for is often used to give the cause or reason of a development or the purpose of an action i was worried for i lost my wallet cause of a development he decorated the house for he wanted to welcome his kids home purpose of an action Let's have a look at these sentences. Shireen could not go shopping because of the rains. Because Maria was talking on the phone, she did not talk to me. Because of heavy snowfall, the schools are closed indefinitely. Mahi was appointed to the post as he had enough experience. Jaya was extremely tired. for she had traveled a long distance harry fared well in exams because he had studied hard we did not understand much because of her accented english clauses of purposes and results in order to so as to etc I'm buying a big house so that we all can live together. You will need at least a four bedroom house in order to accommodate your joint family. Yes, and I will also raise a kitchen garden so as to grow some vegetables at home. You know, the Sharmas had such a huge kitchen garden that they never had to buy vegetables from the market. That's good. but the soil should be so fertile that even if it is a small patch it should give good yields is your kitchen garden big enough for your large family you have not seen my house yet so you no idea how big the kitchen garden is sure i will visit your new house soon the dialogue between the two friends uses different clauses of purpose and results I am buying a big house so that we all can live together. Clause of result. You will need at least a four bedroom house in order to accommodate your joint family. Clause of purpose. Yes, and I will also raise a kitchen garden 
so as to grow some vegetables at home. Clause of purpose You know, the Sharmas had such a huge kitchen garden that they never had to buy vegetables from the market. Such plus adjective plus noun plus that plus clause of result. That's good, but the soil should be so fertile that even if it is small patch, it should give good yields. Plus so plus adjective or adverb plus that plus clause of result. You have not seen my house yet, so you no idea how big the kitchen garden is. Clause of result. Definition Clauses of purposes In order to, so as to In order to and so as to are clauses of purpose. They convey a purpose and give reason why something is done. These clauses are used in formal English with a to infinitive. The structure in a sentence usually is in order to or so as to plus infinitive. Air conditioners were installed to beat the heat, informal. Air conditioners were installed in order to beat the heat, formal. I finished my homework fast to enjoy the picnic next day, informal. I finished my homework fast so as to enjoy the picnic next day, formal. So that. So that is a clause of purpose used to refer to future actions. Take down my number so that you can contact me if need be. Clauses of result Result clauses are used to convey the result of an action or situation. So, so, that, such, that are some conjunctions used to introduce a result clause. Bharati was sleeping during the lectures, so she missed important points. The structure usually in a sentence is plus, so, plus, adjective, adverb, plus, that, plus. The cyclone was so violent that it devastated towns in row. He gave the speech with such a passion that everybody was impressed by him. Have a look at these sentences using clauses of purpose and results. We went to Australia in order to watch the lights of Aurora Australis. Clause of purpose The baker is baking round the clock so as to deliver the cakes before Christmas. Clause of purpose Eat heavy breakfast so that you don't feel hungry if the lunch is delayed. Clause of Purpose Contrasts Although and Though Even Though If In Spite Of And Despite Despite opposition from my family, I want to study beekeeping. Though it is interesting, it is risky to work with honeybees. I want to pursue the profession even if it meant a few bee stings here and there. I will not recommend such a profession, although I know bee stings only once in a lifetime. I remain undeterred even though it is a huge challenge. In spite of all your knowledge, you need to work carefully with the bees. Although they are small industrious insects, they inspire us to work hard. Despite my fears, I wish you all the success in your endeavour. Here we can see that the conversation between the two friends uses although, though, even if, even though, in spite of, despite. Definition Although, though Although and though can be used interchangeably as subordinating conjunctions. They connect a subordinating clause with the main clause to present a contrast of ideas. They can be placed in the beginning or middle of a sentence. Although, though, she knew me, 
she did not wish me do not use a comma when though although is placed in the middle of the sentence rashmi reached the station in time though although the train was late even if even though even if shows a contrast between an unreal imaginary or hypothetical situation and its definite result even if the book is interesting hypothetical he will not read it definite result even though shows a contrast between a real situation and its unexpected result even though i had no money real situation the shopkeeper let my take the books unexpected result if the sentence begins with even if even though place a comma after the even if even though clause even though she cleared the exam she did not get a job in spite of despite in spite of and despite are prepositions that show a contrast they must be followed by a noun phrase or a gerund ing noun form of a verb they can be used interchangeably she talked sweetly with the child despite his impudence she talked sweetly with the child in spite of his impudence these prepositions can be placed in the beginning or in the middle of a sentence when used in the beginning of a sentence place a comma after the in spite of or despite clause in spite of despite hard work she failed let's have a look at these sentences using although though even if even though in spite of despite although it is stormy i will go out to buy my medicines even if i am offered a high paying job abroad i will not leave india the boat could not sail even though the winds were favorable money was not given the prize money despite winning the reality show i am not annoyed with her though she disagreed with me even though he was extremely angry he remained calm in spite of rough weather the fisherman sailed into the sea she went out for a walk even though it was extremely hot outside conditional sentence type 1 if you clean the house well mother will be happy if you help me a little i will clean the closets too okay if my work is over in half an hour i will dust the bookshelves i will hang clothes on the line if the maid has done the laundry if she has been doing this work since a year she will do it without anybody's help in this dialogue between the sisters type 1 conditional sentences have been used in different tenses if you clean the house well mother will be happy if you help me a little i will clean the closets too okay if my work is over in half an hour i will dust the bookshelves i will hang clothes on the line if the maid has done the laundry if she has been doing this work since a year she will do it without anybody's help definition type 1 conditional sentences express real or possible conditions and their probable results a conditional type 1 sentence mostly has 1 a conditional clause if clause which indicates a possible condition in simple present and 2 a main clause which indicates the probable result of the condition in future simple the sentence structure is if plus simple present tense subject plus first form of verb plus simple future tense subject plus will plus first form of verb if ajay is hungry i will cook some food 
always separate the conditional clause from the main clause with a comma in between. Type 1 conditional sentence may sometimes begin with the main clause instead of the if clause. I will write to you if you give me your address. The if or conditional clause can sometimes be in the present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. If Mahi is still reading the book, I will play with Sara is present continuous. If the tailor has stitched my clothes, I will take them home is present perfect. If Jia has been practicing since one year, she will make it to the event for sure is present perfect continuous. Let's have a look at these type 1 conditional sentences. If you attend your classes, I will take you to the water park. Type 1 conditional. Simple present, simple future. If you need some money, I will lend it to you. Type 1 conditional. Simple present, simple future. If you throw a party, I will organize the music. Type 1 conditional. Simple present, simple future. I will have a nap if the guests leave early. If clause comes later. If Jane is still struggling with the puzzle, I will help her. Type 1 conditional, present continuous. If the manager has signed the letter, I will join the company. Type 1 conditional, present perfect. If you have been tending your plants so well, they will surely have a good bloom. Type 1 conditional, present perfect continuous. If, not and unless, if and whether, etc. If Mala does not eat a balanced diet, she will always feel weak and tired. You mean to say, unless Mala eats a balanced diet, she will always feel weak and tired? Yes, and I am not even sure whether she is taking her medicines regularly. I will ask her mother if consulting a dietitian would be a good choice. I have doubts about whether her physician is giving her good advice. A lot depends on whether Mala is following her advice. Her mother is also considering whether to get a complete checkup done at the city hospital. That's a good idea, whether Mala likes it or not. The conversation between the two friends uses if, not, unless, if, or, whether. See the highlighted words that are used in the sentences. Definition If not and unless both introduce conditional sentences. They are mostly used interchangeably. Let's see an example. You cannot dine at that hotel if you don't follow their dress code. Unless you follow their dress code, you cannot dine at that hotel. Difference If not refers to a possibility, a supposition, a presumption, a condition to be fulfilled or provided that. Let's see an example. If you don't get oranges now, mother will make not make orange marmalade. In case of unless, there is no probability or possibility but a necessary precondition that if a certain condition is not fulfilled, the next action will not happen. Unless you study, you will not pass. We cannot use unless as a substitute of if not in case of unreal or absurd situations. Example If the government had not increased price, it would have won. Unless the government had increased prices, it would have won. Unreal situation If the dog had not bitten me, I would have attended the school. Unless the dog had bitten me, I would have attended the school. Absurd situation. If and whether. If is used in a conditional sentence 
or in case of uncertainty. I'll plan a picnic if she comes. Here, if is used as conditional. I can't say if she's coming today. Here, if is used as uncertainty. Weather is used when there is a choice between two alternatives. After prepositions and before to infinitive. I don't know whether he plans to visit New York or Paris. Here, weather is used as choice between alternatives. I was think about whether I should wear a pink dress. Here it is used after preposition about. Sam wants to know whether to invite Jim to the Saturday night party. Here, weather is used with to infinitive. They are used interchangeably when the sentence is not conditional. I am not sure whether I will pursue the course. I am not sure if I will pursue the course. Let's have a look at these sentences using if, not, unless, if or whether. If you do not complete your homework, mother will not allow you to watch TV. Conditional Unless you complete your homework, mother will not allow you to watch TV. Necessary precondition The management took a decision on whether to retain the temporary staff or not. Whether after preposition on The juniors discussed whether to arrange a football match with the seniors. Whether with two infinitive The management took a decision on whether to retain the temporary staff or not. Whether used after preposition on and with to infinitive. Connecting ideas between and within sentences. After I finish my meals, I'll go to meet my friends. While you finish eating, let me call up my brother. You always fight with your brother. On the other hand, you don't stop making calls to him. Despite all arguments, he cares a lot for me. None of you harbors ill feelings. That is why you share a strong bond. Furthermore, we are the best friends. In my opinion, you should invite your brother to meet us someday. Sure, I will give it a thought. The dialogue between the two friends uses different connecting words. After I finish my meals, I will go to meet my friends. Sequence of events within sentence. While you finish eating, let me call up my brother. Events happening at the same time within sentence. You always fight with your brother. On the other hand, you don't stop making calls to him. Connect contrasting ideas between sentences. Despite all arguments, he cares a lot for me. Connect contrasting ideas within sentence. None of you harbors ill feelings. That is why you share a strong bond. Cause and its consequence between sentences. Furthermore, we are the best of friends. Additional information. In my opinion, you should invite your brother to our hostel someday. Expressing opinion. Definition. Ideas between and within the sentences can be linked, connected, using connecting words. Connecting words used to show a sequence of events. Between sentences, soon, after, then, subsequently, after that, before. Mother cooked food and then laid the table. Within a sentence, as. As soon as, before, after, since. As soon as the bell rang, the dog started barking. Connecting words used to express events happening at the same time. Between sentences. Meanwhile, at the same time, simultaneously. My boss was in a conference. Meanwhile, I completed my documents. Within a sentence. While, as, whenever. While Mira sang, the musician played music. Connecting words used to connect contrasting ideas. Between sentences. However, 
otherwise, still, though, nevertheless, on the other hand. Raj has money in excess to flaunt. On the other hand, his brother struggles even for two square meals. Within a sentence, though, even though, although, in spite of, despite, while, despite his intelligence, Dinesh failed to solve the puzzle. Connecting words used to express a cause and its consequence. Between sentences, because of, that's why, as a result, consequently, therefore. Susan has won the match, that is why she is celebrating. Within a sentence, for consequence, give rise to, be responsible for, so, lead to, bring about, result in. Excessive leniency can lead to mismanagement. For cause, because, because of, on account of, since, due to, the schools are closed on account of a local festival. Connecting words used for additional information, besides, in addition to, moreover, as well as, furthermore, between sentences. The NGO was going through a rough patch. In addition to funds, it was also given help and kind. Within a sentence, the staff got a thousand rupees more in addition to their current salary. Connecting words used to express opinions. In my view, personally, in my opinion, Rhea is having lemonade. In my opinion, she should drink soup in this biting cold. Connecting words used to give examples. For instance, for example, namely, that is to say, in other words, scientists are trying to reach other planets. Mars, for example, is one of them. Connecting words used for conclusion. To sum up, lastly, in conclusion, finally, to conclude. The CEO is not very expressive, but in conclusion of his speech, he appreciated the staff's dedication to its work. Let's have a look at these sentences using connecting words. Before it rains, you must finish shopping. Sequence of events within sentence. Whenever there is a crisis, my brother stands by me. Events happening at the same time within sentence. Some international events are held annually, for instance, the World Book Fair, expressing example, within sentence. Bharat has made it to the semi-finals. In my view, he should now get professional coaching to reach the final round, expressing opinion between sentences. The students were demanding too much. The principal, however, was willing to allow small concession, connecting contrasting ideas between sentences.